EPA and Dubois Meteorologist Bobby Martin here with your outlook for August 19th, 2022. It is Friday and the end of the work week finally. And the Friday video forecast is proudly sponsored by McCall Collective Brewing. McCall is a family owned and operated business with two locations in the Lehigh Valley their original Southside Allentown location at 102 East Susquehanna Street and their newest location, McCall Collective Tap House in Trexler Town located at 7743 Hamilton Boulevard. Their two-year anniversary weekend of events is coming up next weekend, and it is a three-day event taking place at both locations, Friday, August 26th through Sunday, August 28th, and they will have fun events all weekend long with live music, food specials, and plenty of family entertainment, including several outdoor games at the Bridingsville Tap House location where you can win prizes. And of course, a fantastic beer selection and a new beer release. For more information, visit their Facebook page or to place online orders, visit their website, McCallCollectiveBrewing.com. Proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So today we have another mostly sunny day. So we going to start off mostly sunny, then become partly cloudy this afternoon, and then maybe mostly cloudy this evening and overnight. Uh, not expecting any precipitation today, however, and temperatures are going to be a lot warmer. We're going to make a run at the 90 degree mark again, uh, again across the region at, for many locations. So we haven't been at 90 in a while, uh, but we do have the opportunity for some locations in our central and southern areas, especially to see 90 degrees or perhaps even in lower 90s down by the Philadelphia metro today. But mostly sunny today. Clouds increase overnight. Now, uh, we've been talking about this little pesky low moving off the Carolinas that could affect and ruin the shore points. Uh, now looks like it's not going to happen. So uh, the models have been struggling in this pattern for the last couple of days. They suggest something, and uh, actually the last couple of weeks, they, they suggest something's going to happen, and then it doesn't happen. Okay, it's just... Uh, I guess drought begets, begets drought, uh, the old adage says, and that is very true with uh, what has been going on here recently. So this system here is going to stay far enough southeast, we think, where you're just going to get some clouds uh, in association with this uh, this low, very weak low moving offshore. doesn't look like you're getting any precipitation across southern New Jersey and uh, all the way down to Ocean City like we were looking at uh, before, it, as recent as yesterday's video. Here is the NAM High Res Future Simulator radar. I'll show you this off at 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. And again, nothing here. We got some activity across New York State to our north. Uh, we do have a stray shower in the forecast Saturday, but I really want to bank on the latest guidance even after we had the uh, local forecast written and uploaded to our website uh, for the different regions. Uh, also looks like it's going to be a lot more sun than expected on Saturday. So it says partly to mostly cloudy, stray shower. Uh, stray shower is probably not happening. I mean, it would be extremely stray if that were to happen. And uh, most areas are going to see a lot more sun than expected, especially in the interior. We will have some clouds early on. It's not going to be totally scot-free down here by the these shore points. In the morning, you could have some clouds, and that should give way to sun in the afternoon. So a lot better of an outlook here for Saturday. And Sunday doesn't look too bad either until later in the day. So if you have anything going on this weekend down at the shore points, not as bad as it looked yesterday and not as bad as it looked uh, even for the interior. Now, I do think the interior is going to have a little bit more clouds to deal with on Sunday because we're going to have those clouds increase during the afternoon here on Sunday as we have the next system moving toward the region. Uh, this is the uh, European model has uh, the increase in clouds and just maybe some late day showers moving in. Uh, so we have late day shower possibilities here in the forecast for Sunday. It's going to be more likely uh, late afternoon, evening, and overnight for that to occur when you have that sh those showers uh, occurring here on uh, on Sunday. Here's the NAM long range, kind of a, pretty much agrees with what the European model is trying to sell here. Some some light showers moving in here, very late afternoon and evening. And that goes into the overnight period, as you can see here. So uh, we'll see how this works out. But I think Monday is going to be your best day for uh, some numerous scattered showers and perhaps even some thunderstorms. They're what this is uh, with this in this case here for Monday. Here's Monday, right? Uh, we have an upper level low that is over the eastern Great Lakes. Kind of hard to see, but it's sitting out here and it's spawning this uh, surface load. And this is a very familiar. Uh, thing. If you looked at watched the videos over the last couple of weeks, you saw an upper level low that was supposed to help us out uh, last week and bring us numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms, and that didn't happen. Okay, that was in the Monday through Wednesday time frame. This one's a little bit different. You have a little bit better upper air support for this to occur. So we could finally get something what we were expecting last week to happen this week coming up. Okay, so early next week here, we have scattered showers and thunderstorms on Monday. Uh, I think it's more so showers than thunderstorms. You'll probably have isolated thunderstorm opportunities here. But it's a little bit more numerous, and, and there's a better chance for 
uh, for these showers to occur here on Monday. There's not a tremendous amount of rain here, though. Um, precipital water content is still not incredibly high, but uh, it's rain nevertheless, and we'll take it whatever we can get, okay? At this point, we just need rain, right? So this is on Monday, Sunday night, and then Monday. Uh, goes into Monday evening, then you get a little bit of break, and as the upper level low uh, closes off and heads off to the northeast over to England, there's still some energy that's going to rotate around this, we think, here on Tuesday, just to give you a scattered showers opportunity for Tuesday as well, at least for parts of the area. So we'll see how this works out as we get closer throughout the week, but it looks like this is going to be, here's Tuesday, uh, it looks like at least the interior locations are getting some more showers, uh, diurnally driven showers, it looks like. So you're going to have some sun on on Tuesday, partly sunny or variably cloudy, whatever you want to call it, uh, with a few showers uh, possible with that in, in diurnal heating time in the afternoon. So uh, Monday looks like the coolest day of this stretch because you will have plenty of clouds to deal with and you'll have the showers around. So temperatures on either side of 80 on Monday. But you see today 85 to 92, as you see above me, 85 to 92 with sunny to partly cloudy skies uh, today. And then a little bit cooler on uh, on Saturday, but I'm not sure that's going to be entirely accurate. We'll see. I have 82 to 87 right now for Saturday, but if we end up with more sun and we take away those shower chances on Saturday, which is the way it's starting to trend, those temperatures will be right uh, pretty close to what we're going to be seeing uh, today for highs, maybe a degree or two less, but it's still not going to be uh, that cool as is shown there. So we'll see. We'll, we'll revisit that uh, again with a weekend video forecast tomorrow. Uh, once we get to Wednesday, I think that everything's cleared out and uh, we have, we're have we back to mostly sunny skies on Wednesday and then partly cloudy skies to round out our seven-day forecast period here on Thursday. Temperatures after the cool down, if you want to call it that, uh, for the Monday-Tuesday time frame with those showers and, and clouds around limiting temperatures are going to rebound on Wednesday and Thursday. We're right back into the mid to upper 80s, it looks like, by the time we head to uh, the end of next week and certainly a drier trend compared to the first half of the week. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for August 19th, 2022. Have a great Friday.